So we have a function defined from the real numbers into the real numbers, and it's given by f of x equals x to the fourth plus x squared. And the question is, is this an injective uh, function? So in order to answer this question, um, the most important thing is that we understand what does it mean for a function to be injective. So we say that a function from a into b is injective, which is synonymous for one to one. This is the same thing as saying uh, that for all a, b in a, uh, whenever you have f of a equal to f of b, then we have a equal to b. So whenever the outputs are the same, the inputs are also the same. So we have to think about this when we look at a problem like this. You know, you have uh, even exponents, and that kind of indicates that you can have a situation with uh, the outputs being the same and the inputs being different, which would violate the definition. You see, for it to be injective, this has to be true for all a, b, for it not to be injective, you just have to find a single example where it fails. So I'm thinking it's not going to be injective simply because of the even exponents. So watch this. Let's say we take um, a equal to 1 and b equal to negative 1. So if we look at f of a, well that's just f of the number 1. And so what is that? Well that's 1 to the 4th plus 1 squared. So you, you get 1 plus 1, which is 2. At the same time, if you do f of b, that's equal to f of negative 1, which is negative 1 to the 4th plus uh, negative 1 squared. And you see, this is why I was thinking about the even exponents, because these are just going to be 1s, because it's being raised to an even power, so you get 2. So this is a nice situation. We have f of 1 equal f of negative 1, but clearly 1 is not equal to negative 1. So we found just two numbers where this definition is completely violated, and that's all you need, right? So all you have to do is find one example where it fails, and then we know the answer is not injective, or not 1 to 1. 1 to 1 means the same thing as injective. And I just want to emphasize that it was the even exponents that, that gives it away. That's how you'll know how to do it when you're doing a problem. So if you see a problem like this with even exponents, just know that you can take um, this method of attack. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.